Walmart. Now listen, before you click away, just know this is Walmart. Don't be slipping on Walmart. Walmart does have some great stuff. If you're watching this now, it's probably in the replay or the rewind or the reload, whatever you want to do. But Walmart does have some some good stuff. Now, if you do shop at Walmart <clears throat> and you're trying to get your pre-emergent and stuff like that, that's a lot of stuff you're not going to be able to get here. But what I want to do is show you some of the stuff that they do have available here at Walmart, the savings place. And even the savings place, that name, the savings place, is not what it used to be, guys. If you're new to the live stream, guys, please click and hold that like button. I'm going to give it just a second. We'll let a few more people jump in. We're here live at Walmart. Walmart. I know some of you guys are like, I ain't no way in the world I'm going to Walmart to buy some of my um spring stuff for 2024 but they got a lot of stuff now let me tell you this real quick i gotta say this a lot of times when i do go live and people are asking me these questions you're not gonna learn what you needing what you're needing to learn if you're clicking in and out of the live stream all right a lot of people won't wait to see if it's going to be something that they want to know if it is make sure you ask the questions and i'll get to them as I go along but when you click in and out of a live stream and you're here to learn what you can get from Walmart for 2024 need to stay with the whole live stream so you can get all the information and hopefully you guys can hear me with this microphone right here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started but a lot of you guys you won't come to Walmart because you just you like the rest of the people you feel like you can't get nothing at Walmart you can but it's limited so if you don't have a a home depot or lowe's near you i want to show you some of the stuff that you can get that can still get you through the season now the first thing you do when you come into walmart you need to go ahead live stream sounds good appreciate that david all right first thing you need to do is go ahead and let me make sure it's flipped around got my thing blocked all right, first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your um, weed stop for lawn. And everybody know I always talk about these two, with this one in particular. But I want to make sure you don't make this mistake. If you come into Walmart, and most of the time, this is the only place you're going to see the 460 versus the 470. Please get this one instead of this one. And the reason why, this one covers a whole lot more weeds. Only 10 more weeds, but it does kill crabgrass and yellow and purple nut sedge. Now, it says yellow on here. It will handle purple nut sedge, but that's later in the summer. But here's the difference. This actually covers 20,000 square feet. All right. This only covers, four, I think, 4,000 square feet. But this one works faster. This one works slower. But this one actually kills what people are trying to kill that's the crabgrass and the reason i tell you this guys because most people that's why you've been seeing me put those polls in my um community tab asking you what's this weed what's that weed and a lot of people are not getting it right because they're confusing weed so it's one of those weed control formulas where i tell people to get that's going to cover a whole bunch of weeds bear in mind this does not kill poor does not kill um, Dallas grass does not kill goose grass. All right, if you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold that like button, guys. And I want you to do me a favor. Don't click in and out of the live stream. <clears throat> Even if you got to sit the phone down, sit it down and just let it play and listen at like a podcast. Because it's going to be some information in here that you need to know. And if you're just clicking in, we're live here at uh, Walmart. And a lot of people won't shop at Walmart because they fear that they won't be able to get all their lawn care chemicals. And I'm just going to be real with you. Walmart is lacking. They are lacking big time. But if you do come in here, there's some stuff that you can get here that you may not be able to get at the big box store. So make sure you hit that like button and stay with the live stream. If you got any questions, you can put them down there. I'll answer them as they come in. And I'm riding Walmart's Wi-Fi, so it may be kind of in and out. All right, another thing I want you to check out is this right here. This used to be my number one weed killer for lawn. And it's going to depend on when you use this. 
Now, this is the only formula in this entire store out of everything they sell that has pre-emergent in it. This pre-emergent in here is called exoxibin. All right, that's one that you don't see used that often. Now, the thing about this, this does not kill Dallas grass, does not kill poor, will not kill goose grass. But if you have a lot of broadleaf weeds and clover and um, spurge and stuff like that in your lawn, this will work great. Now, here's the thing. They technically want you to use it only twice a year. All right. And when you use it, you should use it six months apart because this does have a pre-emergent built in. The pre-emergent in this is not that great. It's not going to really stop papoa. It's really not going to stop crabgrass. It doesn't even kill crabgrass. Generally, I recommend this formula going into the fall because crabgrass will be dying off naturally. All right, and you'll put a pre-emergent barrier down there. But if you are using it, it you, you'll notice it, it'll wipe out some weeds seriously fast. And my phone, it's not going to zoom in so you can see. Well, you might be able to see that. It has a large amount of 2,4-D in it. Um, you can see the exoxabin, 2.63%, um, and all those other harmful chemicals that work. Now, you see that right there where it says treats up to 9,000 square feet? If you have a Bermuda grass or a zoysia lawn and i don't know if it's going to be on the back i don't have time to really try to show you that but this only works this works on bermuda grass and zoysia all right but you it's not going to cover nine thousand square feet all right when you spray this on zoysia or bermuda grass you got to cut that in half this entire bottle is only going to cover 4500 square feet which is still a lot but it's only going to cover that. Now, if you're at Walmart, I want you to pay attention to this. It says $16.97, right? That's for the hose end. If you don't know what a hose end that means is, that means you screw this on your water hose, shake it up real good, and you start spraying this on your lawn. Know your square footage before you treat. Because if you spray 9,000 square feet of a Bermuda or Zoysia lawn with this and it's not working, that's because... It's not designed to be for 9,000 square feet. It's only for 4,500 square feet. Now, you see the concentrate bottle? Don't buy this at Walmart for this reason. Both of these are 29 ounces, all right? If you got to make a spot treatment formula, all you got to do is unscrew that, pull out, I think it's about six ounces to one gallon of water, pump spray, and use it that way. Plus, it's $16.95. I'm going to show you this real quick. Hopefully you can see that if it's not blowing it out. All right, 29 ounces, season long, hold $16.95. Look how much the concentrate is. The exact same thing, but it's $24.97. No way in H should you be spending eight more dollars on this formula when it's the exact same thing. Only thing is this is a hose in sprayer right here which you're basically getting for free now if you need a hose in sprayer i'll talk about this later on you'll get the chapin right here this is the one i recommend the most this is a foreign one you could put a dry formula in here you could put liquid all that stuff works good in here and it's 15.96 at walmart all right let's go back to the weed kill weed kill for lawns this is the other one right here you guys know about this. It works real good. It's made by the ortho company. All right. The only thing I don't really care about it is it only kills. And let me I'll put this down so you can see it. Remember, this is live. It only kills about 200 plus weeds. Now, this bottle covers 5,000 square feet. So it kills the weeds. Rain proofs itself in an hour. Uh, results with one application. That doesn't mean total results that just means you're going to get some results all right but when you look on the front of this bottle you see what it says it kills dandelion crabgrass and clover so if you was wondering how to kill clover this is one of the formula formulas that one kill clovers too right here but you might need multiple applications when you put that down all right now you come to Walmart and you're trying to, guys, do me a favor too. Make sure you hit and hold that like button that, that activates the live stream, shows appreciation. 
And please do not jump in and out of the live stream. Just sit the phone down and let the live stream play. Now, any questions you have, go ahead, drop them, and um, I'll answer them. You can put them now or I'll answer them later on. Yeah, Walmart has sized down. They don't carry as much stuff as they used to, but they do carry some stuff that's kind of hard to find at other places. I'm going to show you that, too. Now, not all Walmarts are built the same. Not all of them carry the exact same thing. Some of them carry a little bit more than the other ones, like the one off of Eagle's Landing. Um, that one actually has the green works, lawnmowers, and power tools, all that stuff. This one, it doesn't have it. All right. But this does have something that they don't have there, too. I'll show you that later. But if you're trying to kill POA, everybody know about POA, P-O-A, or annual bluegrass. Let me show you something that you need to get now. Don't wait. <sighs> Image Red Label is the only form of that's sold in any big box stores that says it kills annual bluegrass or poor annual the downside down the the, the the negative is it takes so long for this stuff to work now when you're treating poor and you spray those weeds and they start dying off just know it's going to be another batch coming up that's just how poor works it doesn't all germinate at the same time i got a slew of it in my backyard um and it's just popping up everywhere even when i sprayed the vinegar on to kill those off is some that pop back up so that's an ongoing thing same thing here though let me show you this make sure you hit and hold that like button i appreciate that who, who was ever doing it if you got to make a spot treatment with this get you a pair of pliers squeeze that real hard unscrew it add 2.5 ounces of this right here to a pump sprayer one gallon of water and put about an ounce of dish detergent in it and you can spot treat weeds this does not kill a slew of weeds now it says it kills warm and cooled cold season weeds all right this is not for warm and cold season grasses this is for warm season grasses i think you can use this on uh fescue but i would not do that they have a formula that's made for um don't spray excuse me i take that back don't spray this on fescue period because it's going to kill fescue or hurt it if you want to do saint augustine that's a purple bottle like this that you can use that works you can spray this on St. Augustine too, but I heard people complain about using this formula versus the purple formula on the St. Augustine. All right, hopefully you got that right. If you're trying to kill poor, that's it right there. Let me see if I got any questions. Um, it sucks living in San Diego, California due to a slot of good weed killers. I think you guys, if that's in California, y'all got that Prop 69 where everything is considered the call cancer so you can't get a lot of this stuff it is what it is i hate for that for y'all but that's one reason why you don't see a lot of these weed kill formulas in uh california all right here's another mistake i see people making this is spectricide weed stop for lawns kills crabgrass 470 plus weeds works in five hours this is spectricide weed and grass killer if you spray this on an actively growing lawn it's going to kill the grass also these are not the same two totally different formulas one is for weeds in the lawn one kills everything all right how can i deal this is from karen rumsberg how can i kill how can i deal with the water lines in the yard due to all the rain here in california i used to blow it's called those oh, let me flip this around i call those bermuda grass wash lines it's where you have all that extra bits falling down into the lawn um that you doing what you got to do that's 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 the only thing you can do now i do suggest you use a bagger if you're having that issue a lot that'll help keep some of that extra debris from falling down if it's falling down a lot Either your blades are dull and it's tearing the grass and it's leaving a lot down there. So you might need new blades or sharpened blades. Um, you need to bag more. Um, and mulching helps, but when you get a lot of rain like that, you're going to get those accumulation of grass that's going to go with the floor of the grass. And when it dries or stops, those will be the lines in your yard. That is called Bermuda grass wash line or grass wash lines or, or debris wash lines. Um, the only way, like I said, to handle it is bag it up rake it you can blow it but even when you blow it you're just blowing it all over the yard for it to do it again 
All right, hopefully that helped. Let me see here. Can can you use weed killer on Bermuda grass now on unwanted weeds and grass now? If your lawn is dormant, you can spray um, weed. Let me show you this real quick. If you have a dormant Bermuda grass, you can lightly spray grass and weed killer on it. I'm not saying saturate the entire yard. Those particular spots, spray them lightly with this. It's going to kill that weed because you may not know the name of it. If you know the name of it and it's one of those weeds that are listed here, you can use this one also. If the temps are under 45 degrees, that stuff is not going to work like it's supposed to. All right, it's going to work slow. It needs to be 45 degrees or higher for it to work its best. Now, if you really want to get at some weeds without using chemicals, you want to do it the natural way, use this right here, Harris. 30% vinegar right here. They do have a 20%. I think that's made by Green Gobbler. Use one of these, spray it directly on the weeds. You can put some uh, dish detergent in a, not dish detergent, some dish liquid in a um, spray bottle. Fill this all the way up with this, that spray bottle all the way up to this. Don't mix it and spray those weeds and watch them die. Now, I've been experimenting with that and it's been working good even with temps being as cold as they are. That's another thing you can do. Guys, if you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold that like button. That's gonna activate that algorithm, guys. And it's gonna let people know that I'm live right now. Cause a lot of times YouTube is just, it sucks right now. It doesn't really notify people that I'm live and my reach has shrunk. That's why you see me do a lot of videos on Instagram. Um, so I don't know, I've been doing this about six, seven years and I love doing it, but make sure you hit and hold that like button now don't wait till the end of the video go ahead and hit it now let's see if we got any more questions down here all right now let me show you another thing you need to know real quick i want to show you this if i can find it okay here we go check this out all right this is roundup remember what i said about roundup let me show you this real quick if i can find it um, I don't even see the Roundup weed and grass killer in here. They don't have it in here, but I'm going to show you this real quick. Roundup is a name brand. This formula used to have glyphosate in it. Most of all of these formulas, grass and weed killer, they took the glyphosate out of all of them. All right. They just have all the other harmful chemicals you don't know about in them. This does work real good though. Still works good. You gotta mix so many ounces with water. This one little bottle is supposed to make five gallons. Don't buy that. Don't buy that. What you need to do, I will buy this over that. This formula never had glyphosate in it and it doesn't stay in the lawn as long. So if you spray this on weeds and it get in the grass, in the dirt this this won't last as long in the lawn right here and it's cheaper this is this big bottle is 17 dollars all right this big bottle right here is 23 dollars this humongous bottle is 40 dollars all right so you, you know the difference now this right here i'm gonna tell you something about this When I used to make these YouTube videos a long time ago, I used to have top name brand community, so-called gatekeepers coming to the channel telling me, you, you can't mix those chemicals. I used to add uh, glyphosate with a uh, pre-emergent. And they was like, oh, you, you shouldn't be doing that. Everybody knows everything. I was one of the originators that started doing it. Look, look at this. Roundup is doing it now. Weed grass killer with a pre-emergent 12-month preventer in it. I been I had been doing this, and I think this been out for about four years, but I had been doing this process right here. All right, there's nothing new, but look how much it costs. $50. Says it lasts 12 months. Don't don't believe that. It's not gonna last that long, but it will last a longer time. All right, guys. If you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold that like button and don't jump in and out of the live stream. I need you to stay with it until the end i'm only gonna be about six seven more hours so <laughs> i was just kidding <laughs> i was just kidding let me show you this right here too
This is another thing you might need. Come get you one of these right here. You need to get a hose in sprayer if you're going to be treating, making your own mixes. And people say, what do I mean by making your own mixes? If you go by this formula right here, and it tells you to add this to a hose-in sprayer, that's what they're talking about. You pour all of that into here. You don't add water. Screw the water hose on. Turn it on. This has four functions. This one actually showers. This actually sprays up. If you flip it to that one, it'll spray down, but it'll spray out like a fan. You can spray it like a, um, a stream. Hold on for just a second. Don't go nowhere. I'm back. You can spray it like a, um, like a stream. All right. This is multifunctional. The one you see, Ortho, only does three things, plus you can't add dry liquids to it. This right here, if you have some bushes or some hedges and you just want to do small liquid insect controls, uh, liquid uh, fertilizer, these work great also. You can also use these as spot spray, but I wouldn't use this one. I would probably get something like this right here, but I wouldn't buy this one either because I don't like that tip on it. All right, it's not a tri-functional tip, so I would stay away from that right there. All right, I'm going to jump down here, see if I see any questions real quick. All right, we don't see any questions. 48 likes, that's pretty good, guys. If you got any questions, put them, put them in the comments or I'll get to it later. All right, let me show you this too. If you come in here and you're trying to get something to keep weeds out of the flower beds, this is the best one. All right. Now, it's going to feed the flowers also. It's a weed preventer, and it feeds the flowers. They have another one here that does not feed the flowers. These only last three months, but it is a weed preventer. They have a six-month preventer, but they don't even have it in this store. That's what I'm talking about, how sometimes you'll come to Walmart, and they don't have all the stuff. All right. That's, that's, that's okay. I got a question from Henry Alford. Uh, what do you recommend killing weeds in your flower beds? You won't find it here. All right, I'm going to tell you the easiest way, the thing to get. Go to Lowe's. They have ortho grassy weed killer for flower beds. That stuff controls Bermuda grass. It kills weeds in the flower beds, and it won't hurt the flowers or the bushes. I'm not going to tell you to spray grass and weed killer down there because some people are going to make the mistake, and they're going to kill everything. You won't be able to find this at Home Depot. You won't be able to find it at most. Um, you won't be able to find it at Walmart, period. I've only seen it at Lowe's, so you might want to go to Lowe's and see if you can get that. All right, that was a good question. All right, let's see. And plus, I showed you the stuff about the flower beds. That's going to be a weed preventer. That's not going to kill the weeds in the lawn. That preen. I'll show that people who haven't watched. Uh oh. That right there. Now they do have the Roundup once again. It's a weed barrier block. You could put this in your flower beds. It's supposed to last eight months. Um, and it has it down here. Uh, it protects annuals, flowers, and bulbs, trees, and shrubs. The reason I don't like this is just how this, this thing is. You unscrew it. And you got to shake it. This one right here, you don't have to unscrew it. You see this lid? Look, let me show you. You're going to like this. And then you take this when it's down like this. And you sprinkle the stuff. And you can control it more with this one versus that one. That one lasts longer, but this one, I like I like the ease, ease of use. All right, guys, if you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold that like button. And do me a favor, don't click in and out of the live stream. I see a lot of people falling off because they're getting bored. This football game is on, I understand. But don't click in and out of the live stream, guys. I need you to just hold tight so you can get all this information. If you want to know where we're at, we're at Walmart, the savings place. Listen, you don't get the best deals everywhere. Walmart does have some stuff that's, that's pretty good. That's that's that it may be a dollar or two cheaper, but they just don't have all of the stuff. 
All right, I'm gonna get you to the insect control too real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wrap it up for you. I'm not wrapping up now. I don't mean you sign off soon. I'll say wrap it up. Insect control. Not a lot to choose from, but I'm gonna give you my recommendation. Get the spectra side, try eye side. Flip this around. Spectra side, try eye side. They have two bags. One that covers 12,500 square feet, which is generally this 10 pound bag. And then they have another one that's 20 pounds that covers 25,000 square feet. You're gonna have to treat your ant mounds with this and treat the entire yard with this. This is how you get rid of the insects in the lawn. Now, word of caution, this smells like rotten eggs, fart, pooped, it stinks, but it works. You only have to sprinkle this on the mound. You don't have to water this in. Put that in a uh, lawn care spreader and spread it all over the yard based on the square footage. All right, this has to be watered in to, to start working. And it says it kills on contact, but once you water it in, it's gonna work better. Let me see, Doris Crump said, I use that. It keeps bugs out the home too. Place a round foundation. You, I, you're talking about this or this, but if you're talking about this, uh, big, big shout out to this R Ariane. A big, big, I don't know what that is in U.S. currency, but a big, big shout out right there, guys. Appreciate that. Now, check this out. This right here, you cannot put this in the house. It works great on the outside, but if you have kids or pets, please make sure they don't put this on their hand or, okay, you're talking about that right there. Put this on their hand or anything because this can be potent. I mean, deadly. All right, so now once this wears off, yeah, your pet skin, all that can return to the lawn. But if you're putting this on an ant mound and you're sprinkling it around and you don't, if you don't have pets or kids, you're good to go. If you have pets or kids, I probably would tell you to get something that's a little bit less invasive. And that would probably be the seven. It's not near as pointed as this right here so this works if you got kids and pets try this one instead i don't really care for it because it doesn't work as great but you know it works all right this right here is this gonna wipe them out don't buy this right here because this is just nothing but a uh, a money grab for ten dollars just get this right here it's for the mounds but this is this is what works better now if you got kids and pets this probably this will probably work better but i just don't that that dollar amount for the least amount that you get it's just not worth it all right now i'm gonna walk you back let me see i still treat for molds because right i'm going into the fall subdivision tech by most yeah, excuse me how you doing all right. all right now i'm gonna take you out here i want to show you something real quick we're on the outside If you are, how can I say it? You, you're one of those all natural people and you don't want to use chemicals and this and that. And you want to get a green grass or a green lawn. I want to show you this right here. Now, this is, this, these don't work that great. They cost too much. And I, even though I have used them, I'm just not going to pay this price. Now, this is the, the uh, Almanac. What is it called again? Farmer's Almanac lawn fertilizer for food now this is a plant-based fertilizer these bags generally cost 20 and 30 dollars all right and it only covers 5,000 square feet that's kind of expensive it is made in the usa but that's kind of expensive now if you want to try to put this down plant food and prevent the crabgrass and they do have the one with this in it this only covers 3,000 square feet you're just not getting a lot of coverage for that price guys i'm just being real with you so when i get people who want to go the all natural route i tell you this natural products don't work that great on suburban lawns really don't work that great and no lawns out in the country because that's where really where those bugs and stuff getting get off but normally the natural way to stop the bugs in those lawns you have chickens and stuff and they eat the insects it's, um 
food line of food progression or however they could call it that's not going to work in the city those natural lawn care products it's going to be people who push it but i'm just being real that stuff don't work it doesn't work even if you use these chemicals and you let it go so long without reapplying this and that mother nature is going to win if you're new to the live stream guys please hit and hold that like button please do me that favor hit and hold the like button it really really works out good all right that let the algorithm know that we are live i'm just checking to see if i see any more questions down here can you water pre-emergent with a hose and no if you're trying to use like a post emergent hose in to spray the weeds and think you're watering in your pre-emergent you can do that but it's not going to truly water in your pre-emergent you got to get some water to that stuff to get it to go down in the soil so when you're spraying that post emergent you can't just sit on one spot and just keep spraying post emergent you're literally just spraying so many square feet and you're just lightly getting the top of those weeds with those chemicals on it so it'll start killing them off but that's not the proper way now what i suggest if you're gonna do that you're gonna have to put the pre-emergent down there either wait for a light rainstorm or you're gonna have to get one of those water things and water it into the soil real good water it into the soil real good so you can um get it to go down into the soil that's the only way that's going to work all right let's see peace below so i appreciate your channel as a new homeowner who refused to pay landscaper i understand that's why i do these videos right here how can i get rid of armadillo you at this walmart don't sell the stuff but go into um home depot i did a video on my last live it's a product called mole max all right it's going to control moles voles gophers armadillos um ground squirrels and it's one more other item now, having said that, you got to understand, too, what are armadillos eating? All right, they're eating worms and grubs in your yard. Then you got to get rid of their food source also. If you still have that food source in your lawn, they're going to keep coming back. So you got to put an insect control down to get rid of that also. All right, I'm going to flip this around and show you this right here. Now, this is what we call mill organite. And guys, if you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold the like button right now that way the algorithm will activate if you appreciate this and you want to throw me a uh, what they call a super chat you can click on that guy send me a few dollars like um my other guy did earlier uh what's his name um Aryan. if you want to do something like that that helps the channel that way i can keep coming to the store and, and giving you these videos that the other guys are not doing they're too busy trying to get viral videos and they're not really trying to educate you on these products and chemicals that's in the store. All right. Let me see. How can I get? Oh, let me, oh this is um, Mill Organite. Mill Organite, if you want a green lawn, please get you some of this right here. The only downfall with Mill Organite is it costs so much. This one bag is recommended for 2,500 square feet. That's not a lot. But if you want some of the greenest yard, greenest grass you've ever seen, I'm telling you, this stuff works great. Now, note this. I'm going to tell you before you find out. Milorganite is made from sewer sludge, human feces, and all kinds of other stuff. But they got a process where they purify it, of course. And once you put it down, it's going to have an odor. All right, you need to water that in real good. And normally that odor lasts about three to four weeks. So if you're going to have a party or something, please don't put Milorganite down before you have that party. Wait till the party is over with, put it down, water it in. Or do this a month or two before the party actually is about to happen on the outside. Or even on the inside, because it does have an odor. I don't have kids. All my kids are grown, so I don't have to worry about kids running back and forward in the lawn. Stuff like that. I can deal with that odor. I don't use it as much as I used to, because it costs too much per square feet but that stuff will get your yard green so if you have a little bit of yard try that right there milk organite it's a 640 fertilizer six percent six percent nitrogen four percent um phosphorus zero percent potash 
that stuff works good and you can use that along with regular fertilizer also all right yeah so i use meloganite every three months that's from random reviews uh smells like something haha <laughs> neighbors be nosy hit them with the stench there you go but it does work okay let's see here we got another question from hopefully i get this name right sagosh shack of 74 uh, last year i used hot water and pulling roots onions this now meanwhile killing yeah i want to tell you that too if you if you put hot water on your lawn while it's actively growing you're gonna kill the grass also so i wouldn't suggest that but if you're doing it in beds like rock beds that don't have anything around no trees or bushes hit it with that hot water that's all natural it's going to kill them um, but that's not going to prevent those weeds from coming back keep that in mind also when you're spraying this i mean when you're putting that hot water down there all right appreciate that from i'm gonna try to get these names right try doping try doping i think this i hope i got that right all right and uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. All right, I'm finna show you. For those of you who don't want to put a lot of effort into your yard, I wanna show you something real quick. Let me run over here and get this liquid real quick. And I'll check, see if we got any more questions down here. Um, do you recommend lime? I recommend lime maybe once every three or four years. Lime. Facts acting lime, not that, what I mean by that, the granular lime, not that white powdery stuff. It's just a mess. Get the granulated. But that's going to help bring up your pH levels in your lawn. Now, if you have low pH, and they say it need to be anywhere between oh, 6 and 7 pH, something like that, 6 and 7 pH. The only way you're going to know that, guys, is to get a soil test. But if, if you're not going to get a soil test, Maybe once, three, four, every year, you should be okay. I, I, don't, I never use lime. Last time I used lime was like 13 years ago. I just rely on the fertilizers that I'm putting down and constant mowing. Um, that helps the grass do what it's supposed to do. All right. Now, you can get lime at Home Depot and Lowe's. I really don't see it at Walmart, but you can get it there. And, guys, that... that um, super chat that was from um, I think I pronounced it TRD open guys if you want to send me a super chat I really would appreciate that guys it just helps me support I don't go buy cars and stuff with that guys <laughs> just <laughs> it just helps me come out here and show you all these chemicals and stuff and give it to you real and I'm not trying to make videos that go viral without the information that's another thing i find people doing too if you're watching videos and you're not getting any information out of it yeah you watch this guy mow his yard with a lawnmower that costs three or four thousand dollars but you're not doing that this is for the average homeowner and the guys who are not the average homeowner but most people have a regular lawnmower so why are you wasting all your time on videos or channels that that are not educating you on lawn care my job is to come out find the information and give it to you so you can better understand on how to take care of your lawn um, you don't really have to do the studying but what I recommend people to do is to to write some of this stuff down ask questions stop being scared I'm something gonna, gonna happen ask questions support the channel with super chats and however else you can support buy the t-shirts and stuff like that but I come out I put the work in so to make it easier for you but if these guys are not putting the work in for you i'm not telling you to stop supporting them because some people watch channels for entertainment i mean just like me i am missing the football game to bring alive that's the only thing i tell you you have kansas city and you have lamar jackson baltimore playing right now byd is at walmart showing you how to take care of your lawn for this upcoming spring that's how much i my dedication is but let me answer this question real quick too uh let's see yes the white powder i was told was told was so the customer knows that they're putting it down putting lime down i used granular this fall and burned the section because i used the wrong setting on my spreader listen i don't know how you burn your yard with 
lime. It's almost, I'm not going to say impossible, but that white powdery stuff is a mess. If you're putting down lime and you're pushing you know, in your spreader the right way, you don't need that white thing to, to show you that you're putting it down. That's, that's a mess because you're putting it down, then you're stepping in it also. And it's getting all over your clothing from that dust, even though you're going to get some dust residual from using it in the other one using the, the granulated one but i just i'm not i don't recommend that powdery stuff that's that's too much of a mess to deal with right there all right they're wasting time with phone dish and watch people cut grass you're, you're right about that now having said that check it out my son will watch on youtube somebody play video games for hours and he he's not even playing you know everybody they, they addicted to something and we we love to scroll but when I do the educational videos, I notice that they don't get the love that they deserve. People, if you're really trying to learn how to do this, guys, you got to watch this channel. You got to hit the subscription button. You got to support the channel. You got to go and watch all of the videos that are attached to it so you can truly learn how to take care of your yard. Let's see here. Uh, we, let me see. Henry Alfred, uh, have you done any videos at Ace Hardware? I was wondering how good the first... Listen, I went to Ace, and I did a live on Instagram. I'm just going to be real with you. Ace stuff is so expensive. It was hard for me to even walk around and show people. I don't see anything different in Ace that I couldn't get from Walmart or Home Depot versus their fertilizers. And bear in mind, Ace does not make their own fertilizers. All right? Thanks for that. Um, I think he purchased a sticker there. A. Russell, I really do appreciate that. I don't think that they, they don't, excuse me, they don't make their own fertilizers. They don't have a plant. All these fertilizers are only made by is certain plants. What the plant does is take the order of what they want in it and the ingredient-wise, and they produce a product for them. But their fertilizer, I want to try it, but I just don't see a big advantage of me shopping at ace and spending that extra money that you could be buying other stuff with i mean other little you know knickknacks and stuff like that um i just I, it, it, it ain't worth it to me all right big shout out to russell for that 4.99 super chat right there all right let's see what else we got here thanks for the dedication you are welcome to cynthia rafferty Hopefully I got that right. But let me, okay, let me get this real quick. Let me show you this. If you're new to the live stream, please hit and hold that like button also. That's going to help the algorithm. It's going to get more people to the Bermuda Grass Central. All right. And if you're, if don't jump in and jump out. If you're watching this on the, 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 the uh, what they call it, the replay, put your headphones on and just listen to it like a podcast. But listen to it all the way to the end because I promise you, that's going to be some information in here that you need. I'm going to get to your question, um, Hack74. Let me show you this real quick. Now, this right here, I want you to listen to what I'm telling you. This is the best one-two combo in the game from the blue bag. The blue bag, anytime you hear me say that, or the blue bottle is from this company, BioVans. All right. They used to be the bear company. They switched that name because I guess they didn't want people to think it was a headache medicine. But listen, if you got weeds in I'm, I want to give you a shortcut before I give you that. Understand, I'm using Yard Mastery products. I'm showing these other products because I know people are not going to buy from Yard Mastery. They want to go in the store, get the stuff, spray and pray, and hope it works. I'm going to show you some stuff that works. Spray your yard for weeds with this. N-O-W. If your yard is dormant, and it's not raining and it's dry, hit it with this. It's gonna work in temps 45 degrees or higher. All right, now having said that, don't you listen closely. This is gonna put a pre-emergent down also. This formula is not going to kill crabgrass. All right, when you put this down, BioVance 5 and 1, I want you to see what it does. Pay close attention, it kills the tough weeds like broadleaf weeds, dandelion, clover, stuff like that. Prevents new weeds. That's the pre-emergent that's in here. And I don't think, let me see, uh, that thiopyr, that thiopyr is in here. All right. 
kills large crabgrass. Most of them only kill the small crabgrass, but this kills large crabgrass. It's going to prevent crabgrass. It's also going to green your yard for three months. All right. Now, if you want to know what's killing crabgrass, it's always that formula that says quinclorac. You see it right there. 2,4-D is just a weed killer. The camber is just another weed killer. But that, that thigh pier is a pre-emergent that has a post and pre-emergent aspect in it also. That's going to kill current weeds. Excuse me. This stuff is going to kill current weeds. But that, that thigh pier, that pre-emergent, is going to help prevent weeds. And if some break through, like baby crabgrass, it's going to help knock those out also. Six months from the day you spray your lawn with this, do it again. So normally that would be you heading to the fall. So i give you an example. It's February now. It's not February, but let's say you're doing February. March, April, May, June, July, August. August, September, you hit it again. All right. You can spot treat weeds with this, but no, it's not going to kill crabgrass. It's not going to kill poor. It's not going to kill. Uh, what's the other one I told you guys? Uh, goose grass. It's not going to kill Dallas grass. All right, but this is the number. This is the best combo that you can get in any store that's going to work with each other and help control your the weeds and give you a green grass. Now, when you do that, it's best make sure that you're mowing on a regular basis. All right, if you have a lot of weeds, guys, you need to bag the lawn. If you don't have a lot of weeds, I would recommend your mulch the lawn but you have to be mowing on a regular basis i'm going to answer this question for you how often should i be mowing my lawn byd once to two times a week now some of you are going to say i don't have time for that that's fine but you got to at least do it once a week or you're going to need to make time to do it um one to two weeks if you can excuse me one to two times a week if you can do that you're going to have a really good looking yard you got to sharpen your blades all right, if you can't sharpen your blades, then buy a new blade. But you should not be mowing your yard and you, you didn't had it, that blade on that lawnmower for weeks and you haven't sharpened it or replaced it. All right, let me see if I got some questions down here too. Uh, let's see, BioAdvance. Okay, to put on Bermuda grass. Yes. Yes, you can put BioAdvance on Bermuda grass. So can I, let's see, so I can use that in the spring and fall. I'm on, yeah, you can use it in the spring and fall. Uh, so when the temp, so when it's 45 to 50 degrees, it's okay to um, March, April to seed. I don't know what you're talking about seeding. If you're talking about Bermuda grass, I personally recommend you do not seed your yard. Your Bermuda grass is gonna spray it on its own. All you gotta do is keep it mowed and fertilize on a regular basis. Now, if you look, if you are going to see Bermuda grass, best to see when temps are 80 degrees and consistently at that temperature. You cannot see the Bermuda lawn when the temperatures drop that low because it's a warm season grass. It's not going to see. All right, let's see, do you sharpen your blades or bought new ones? Uh, I sharpen them. Now, a lot of people saying, well, when do you buy new blades? Understand this, I got eight lawnmowers. <laughs> so I don't have to buy them that often. Um, plus, they did come with a um, uh, second set. Also, mine did. Now, the newer mowers, the, when they're coming out now, they might not have that second set that's in them. Um, but mine did come with a second set. Now, Walmart's supposed to have greenworks products but this walmart doesn't have them in here i'm just walking down when you see me doing all this looking i'm looking around just to make sure okay i'm using rye grass kentucky grass bluegrass mix all right um it's best to see those when it's it's your growing season that best to see rye grass let's see what else you got down here kentucky bluegrass late fall if it's not freezing uh mid fall that way you can get it growing. Then you come back and see it again early spring to get it going if it's not snowing. Generally, you have to do that two times and you, you'll start to see it thicken up. If you hit it in the fall, those seeds will start growing. They'll take root. If you hit it in the spring, 
you still get a, another set of grass that's going to grow later on all right and if you're new to the live stream guys please hit and hold that like button i appreciate you guys hanging around for these 49 minutes just bear in mind guys i'm missing the video game because i am not video game i'm missing the football game because i'm dedicated i want to make sure you guys know how to take care of your lawns while these other guys are reposting the same videos over and over and over and waiting for the season to start all right let's see if we got any more questions real quick I wish you had a state, let's see, a state to state resource guide to play. I mean, like a video or something like that. You know, I'll do a video on that later on. But if you can't sharpen your blade, guys, just find the nearest lawnmower shop. Take that to them and let them sharpen it for you. But before they sharpen it, ask them how much is it going to cost to just replace the blade. Normally, if you take your lawnmower to a shop that they got to take the blade off. It's going to cost more to, 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 to get it sharpened or to replace it. All right. So just bear that in mind. But find a lawnmower shop that's near you and um, you should be good. I want to show you this real quick. When you come to Walmart sometimes in the off season, this is not the off season. It's finna start back around. But sometimes you'll see a lot of this stuff on sale and clearance. Like this right here used to be $21. I use this right here. This is the granular. 12 it's not gonna be at all stores but like this was 15 dollars. it's a tank cleaner a lot of people never clean their tank out they just keep using it to the tank tears up all right mole x right here guys if you got moles in your yard and you don't mind killing them um <laughs> it's okay to use this stuff right here this one is not the one that i was talking about vol x it's not the one i was talking about the one i was talking about is called mole max all right, they don't have that stuff here. Matter of fact, let's walk over here into the uh, section that they got that, that that would have that type of stuff and see if they got it. All right. Oh, another question. Another. Oh, let me see. Should I? Okay, I'm going to tell you this too. I want you guys to listen. This is about Scott's. If you use Scott's weed and feed, you see that right there? Bear in mind, this product does not kill or prevent crabgrass. And the reason I'm telling you is because a lot of people will buy it and they'll have a yard full of crabgrass and they'll be saying that it did not work. There's nowhere on this bag where it tells you it kills crabgrass or prevent crabgrass. Now they do have the um, the trifecta formula that says it prevents crabgrass, but even that does not kill crabgrass. All right. Um, what, what do you recommend for raccoons and, uh, and possums? Um, BB gun, uh, bow and arrow. <laughs> Listen, if you got those that in your yard, you got to find out why they're coming to your yard. What do you have in your yard that raccoons and possums are constantly looking for it. They're looking for food and it's in the, in the trash cans or uh, in the dirt where they're digging up worms and stuff. You got to get rid of that. And the best way to get rid of that is with a uh, insect control. All right, now if you, you if you have possums and, and raccoons and they're tipping the trash can over, you got to find a way to keep your trash can clean. All right, keep the trash can, can clean. I have what they call 90, I wash mine out real thoroughly once a month, but I put um, 96 gallon trash bags in my um, big trash cans and I keep that lid sealed. All the trash that goes in those, they're in the trash bags that's in the house and we tie them real tight. They have a, um, some that have a mint flavor to it that's supposed to repel squirrels and stuff like that. These are steps that you could take to prevent those things from coming into your yard and you need to put insect control down but other than that bb gun slingshot all right now let me show you some other stuff real quick that really don't work but they they sell it this deer rabbit repellent it's okay guys but it's made by bun eye that's a top company but don't expect you're gonna put this down and think it's gonna work Normally, it lasts, from what people are telling me, about four weeks. Even though they have two months on here, you really only get about a month worth of 
keeping people away. And anything that says people and pet safe, you already know it's not going to be the most effective product. But it does work. It does work. And they don't have the, um, the here it is right here, guys. Somebody was asking me about this. I want to show you. All right, it's called Mold Max. Mold and Vole Repellent. All right. Armadillos, rabbits, ground squirrels, ground hogs, and other burrowing animals, the ones that dig in your yard, stuff like that. You can use this on your lawn, gardens, and plants. This is supposed to be treated like a fertilizer. You put it in a spreader, you push it all over the yard, and let me check something real quick. Make sure my battery one did. You push it all over the yard, and this is gonna help keep them away. They did have this thing in here too, that you can use. Let them say that real quick. All right. Wait for them. All right, this mold max. And then you have these sonic spikes right here. Use this in combination with this and see what type of results you get. Now, this is supposed to cover one, it's supposed to cover 7,500 square feet. So, I'll give you an example. If you have a yard that's 15,000 square feet, you should know that you're going to need two of those. If you have a yard that's 10,000 square feet, you should know you're going to need two of those. If you have a yard that's five, 75 square feet and under, then you only need one of those. Now, I get asked the question, too, how do I know what my square footage is? Pull out the pen and paper, write this down. And, guys, please make sure you hit and hold that like button. Also, guys, that activates the algorithm. Square feet is measured this way. Width times length equals square feet. All right, and I'm going to show you this real quick on this bag so you'll get an idea what I'm talking about. I'm looking for something that's going to say uh, how many square feet. All right, all right, let me show you this. This bag says this this product, the tri size says it covers 12,500 square feet. If you have a yard that's 50 by 200, you multiply 50 times the 200, and that lets you know you have a 10,000 square foot yard. So you know that one bag is gonna help cover that particular property, all right? That's how you find out what your square foot is. Now you can go to Google Maps. They have a thing where you can actually um, track your, your particular lot, find your land, track it, and it'll show you how to, it'll give you your square feet. You ain't gotta do too much math, all right? If you download the Yard Mastery app, you can get your square feet along with that also. That's how you get the square feet. Remember, it's width times length equals the square feet let's see let me see what else i got right here all right william 99 they are going after our grapevine and uh the uh, loquats that fall off the tree uh only thing i can recommend you get rid of them asap or you got it because there's i mean some of this stuff is like mother nature you just can't stop it the grapes gonna fall off um, you don't want to spray too many herbicides and stuff all on it because you want to eat the grapes. Um, you could put put those those particular barriers, those wire barriers around it to keep them from climbing up or either around the property to keep them from coming in. Um, but there's not a real, if there was a real good thing that could keep them off, you would already know, believe it. So it's one of those things where you, you got a situation where you're just going to have to figure out something or deal with the consequences of growing grapes or y'all got to know when they falling off somebody got to go out there every day and get grapes up and then when you get those grapes up you got to put them in a ziploc bag so that smell and that sweetness won't be coming out of it and um seal it up and get rid of them all right baltimore is getting cooked right now by kansas city put the score down there because i don't even know what the score is uh i'm gonna multiply by square foot now yeah go get the square foot before you start doing any of these applications 
BYD thinking about selling my 21 inch Honda base model for an electric. Which electric would you recommend? I don't recommend, uh, I don't really have one in particular I would recommend. The one I use the most is the Greenworks 21 inch. I've had success with that. Um, the Greenworks 25 inch dual blade, I have had success with that. Um, Ryobi's, um, select, I what they call it, not select cut. I can't think of the name of it, but it's the one that costs like $700 that has dual blades on it, all wheel drive model. That works great too. Ego works great also, but I have seen it suspect when you're cutting Bermuda grass low because the front of the mower is so so light, it bounces while you're going across your yard. Now, somebody will come in, oh, just get your yard level. Most people are not going to do that, guys. That's what you see, those this hype dreams. That's just showing you something that you could do, but most people won't do. All right, so you want a lawnmower that has a, even though it's battery, I would suggest a, a, a cast iron um, body versus all plastic that won't vibrate or bounce up and down as much. Toro has a good one also. So just bear that in mind when you're out there looking. For that 21 inch Honda Rotary, if it's if it's beat up, then I, yeah, you might want to get rid of it. That thing is still in good condition. You might want to hold on to that. If you're new to the live stream, guys, hit and hold that like button, please. You need to do that now. Do not walk away from this live stream without hitting or holding down a like button. If you want to donate with a super chat, I will take those also, guys. Two, three dollars, five, ten, twenty, thousand, million dollars, whatever you need to donate. Go ahead and do that also at this time right here. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, please hit that subscription button. Turn on your all notifications. If you don't have your all notifications turned on, you don't get notified when BYD is um, uploading videos or doing lives. The way you turn on your all is you go to the um, settings part of your phone, click on YouTube. And you have to give it permission to notify you. If you don't have permission turned on because you're scared, you're giving away information, you won't get notified when I'm doing these videos. So do that after we get rid after, after we leave. Let's see here. Um, I have a 21-inch 40-volt Ryobi push mower. Okay, the, the one I got is self-propelled. It's an all-wheel drive model, too. It's self-propelled with the dual blades on it. Let's see, good to see you, BYD. Um, have you had good results from Mole Max? No, I don't use Mole Max. I know people who do use it, but I don't use it because I don't get moles in my yard at all. None of that stuff. Uh, hey, how you doing now? Uh, gophers, none of that stuff. I don't have that, and it could be because I put that a lot of insect control down to prevent them from coming to the yard. So if you haven't tried it, it's not going to hurt. How much is that stuff? Mole Max is... Let me show you the price. <clears throat> Let's see, nineteen dollars for a bag that covers five thousand square feet. That's not bad. And these Sonic things are like eighteen bucks. So you might want to check that out. All right, let's go back. Flip forward, guys. If you're new to the live stream, please do not jump in and out of the live stream. Just put the phone down and listen to it like a podcast. But I'm missing the game to give you this information right here. Somebody put that football score down. Oh, 17 to 7. Ooh. Ooh. I would prefer to see Baltimore win. Kansas City has been there a couple of times. I want to see Baltimore get there. I want Lamar Jackson to get one. But the best team will win. All right, let me show you this one thing, too. If you got slugs in your yard, Corey Slug and Snail Killer, this stuff works great. Works real easy. This one box covers 8,700 square feet. Guys, all you do is, that is, you open up right there, sprinkle this around on it, the ground that's infested with snails or slugs, and this is good for lawns, pits, excuse me, lawn, flower beds, stuff like that. But it's only going to last about two weeks, so you may have to keep reapplying it. And you can see right there it says, people in pet safe can enter the area immediately after you put this down all right if you want to do an all natural um if you want to do an all natural remedy you can use vinegar all right regular vinegar the one you got in the house just spray the animals excuse me spray the snail and slugs directly don't spray this on your flowers or anything because that vinegar is going to kill everything 
you can use regular table salt. But be careful about putting it in your flower beds because if it waters down into the soil, that'll damage the soil and it can kill the plant also. But if you sprinkle a little salt on these jokers, I hate to see them fold up like that. But that's going to dehydrate them, kill them. In other words, i just be real. It's going to kill them. All right. Yeah, 950 square feet. Yeah, you have a teeny weeny yard, so you don't need much of any of these products. That's why I tell people when they get this, follow directions on the bottle. I had a guy who I used to cut his grass, and here's what happened. Every time I showed up to cut his yard, his grass was four, five, six inches tall. This guy was putting a bag of fertilizer on his yard that says it covers 15,000 square feet every month. His yard is 3,000 square feet. So in four months, he put down um, a bag that covers, let's see, a bag, four bags that would cover 60,000 square feet. And it was three times four. His bag, his yard was only 12,000 square feet over the, the, the four-month period. Surge growth, grass was so unhealthy, it was ridiculous because he did not follow the direction um, that's on the bag. All right, I got a question here from Badin. See, Badin, I'm gonna answer your question. He said, What killed yellow nuts edge? This is one of the reasons I keep telling people to get to 470 because it's gonna kill a lot of weeds that you don't know you have. Now, he's being specific. It's literally right there on the bag, the bottle. This one kills it also, but this one also kills crabgrass. All right. Let's see what else we got here. All right, guys, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Like I said, here live at Walmart, I want to show you guys some of the stuff that you can get at Walmart. What's lacking at Walmart? They don't have pre-emergent for sale. They don't have the 007. They don't have the... The Scott's Hulks at this particular Walmart. As a matter of fact, Walmart is starting to slack up on all the stuff that they normally get. Walmart starts out great at the beginning of the season, but does not finish strong as far as replenishing their supplies. So if you see something you want out here, you need to come get it now. Don't wait until the season starts and you run out here trying to get Image Red Label, even though it's $24 a bottle, $25 a bottle. I show what I'm talking about. Because this stuff is going to go quick because everybody has poor annual. And it's the only thing you can buy in the store that you can spray on the lawn that's not going to hurt the lawn that's going to kill that poor annual right here. It kills it slowly, but it does work. So don't wait. Don't come out here two weeks from now and you're trying to get image red label. Even at the big box stores, you're going to run into some issues as far as getting what you need when you wait that long. All right, so if I don't have any more questions now here, guys, I love that brand. Yeah, that works good. That's because big box stores don't sell smaller bags. Also, he is not using a spreader, so if he's using it by hand, it would never look applied. That is correct. Let's see if we got any more questions. No more questions? All right, guys, remember this is in the live stream right here. This video will be uploaded later on, and you can go check it out. And um, if you got any questions, then you can put them in the comments. I will answer those questions that's in the comments, guys. Like I said, if you want to support the channel, you can do Super Chat. It doesn't cost much, guys. Just click on Super Chat. Send me $2.50, $5, $1,000, a million. That helps support this channel so we can keep bringing you this great information like we're doing now all right i'm also available on instagram all right same channel bermuda grass central same name uh, we also have a paid subscription on the instagram those guys get a lot of personal how to's and stuff like that and all their questions get answered immediately sometimes it take a while for me to get here are you a fan of extra garden weed feed that stuff does work doesn't work as good as some of the um the major brands but it does work the only issue i have with expert gardener weed and feed is they're starting to charge the same price that you would pay for some of the more powerful um, weed and feed formers so but if you're shopping at walmart get it 
you don't have to go everywhere to get that stuff. Just get get what you can get. If if you live in a town that only has a Walmart, no Lowe's, no Home Depot, there's nothing wrong with Expo Gardener. But you gotta mow your yard on a regular basis. Hopefully that answered your question. That's Henry Alfred. Okay, let me see. One thing Scott says there. Anyway, um, it's Long Island Lawn Food. Yeah, we don't. You won't see that a lot at the stores. Some of that stuff is specific to the region. All right, another thing too, if you got sandy soils, you will need to sharpen your lawnmower blades a little bit more often. A lot of guys are asked how often should you sharpen the blade after 24 hours, 25 hours of mowing. I would recommend it. But if you have a sandy soil, 18 to 20 hours, you need to be sharpening that blade. And then I would get rid of that blade and get a new one because that, that sand, it's like sandblasting metal when you do that with a sandy soil. All right, guys, tune into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. It's Mike Bowman. I'll be doing another live.